Hey everybody, Denver Coder back with part two. In this part of the video, we're gonna be setting up a custom domain and we're gonna be kind of exploring our new website. Okay, so we left off in the last video with um, our site was being deployed. Um, right here it said it was building. Now you can see that it says it's published. And I told you that right here it had that yellow text that it would change to be uh, the location of our website. If you click that, it'll actually bring you to your website. Um, this is the template that we installed. Uh, we didn't install it, it's part of the Gatsby setup. You can see right here it says Gatsby plus Netlify CMS. And uh, there's a lot of stuff we have to change in here. Like this actually will point you to the Netlify CMS GitHub repo. And then, uh, but it's basically just a blog template. You've got these uh, blog articles that have some tags. Um, you've got an about page. You got a products page. Um, and then we're going to be changing all this, obviously. I'm not going to leave it, all this here, but it's kind of nice to see that, that you know there's a template here that we can refer to and we want to change stuff. Um, so the first thing I want to do is I want to set up a custom domain. So my domain for my website is denvercoder.com. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make it so that instead of going to this crazy uh, URL right here, people can just go to denvercoder.com and they can get to this site. So to do that, you just click right here on this to set up custom domain. If you can't find this or if this is closed and not there, uh, you have two buttons here, site settings and domain settings. So it's gonna be under domain settings. And then there's a button right here that just says add custom domain. So I'm gonna add in oops, denvercoder.com Verify, it's going to say that it already belongs to someone, which is me. Uh, and I'm going to say yes, add domain. So now um, it's checking and you can see that the DNS configuration is wrong. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click this button. And there's several different ways that you can uh, set this up for a custom domain. I found the easiest way is basically to just click this setup Netlify DNS for denvercoder.com. It'll ask you to verify. It'll say it belongs to somebody and it says, are you the owner? You say yes. It'll put this in here. Uh, click continue. Now these right here, uh, this is where you need to go. So when you go to like, uh, I've moved almost all of my domains to, uh, oh, no, I wouldn't want, I don't want to do that. I moved my, most of my domains to Namecheap, but I still have a few over here. So gonna scroll down here and find denvercoder.com. I'm going to click the DNS. Now, if your registrar is not GoDaddy, if it's something else, then um, obviously this is going to be a little bit of a different process, but it should be fairly similar. So I already had this set up on a different Netlify install, so that's why these all look the same. Really, the only difference is this uh, 4. This is 04 instead of 07. So all I really need to do is just click Change and just go in here and change all these to 4. like so, and then click save. Now that's gonna take a while for um, it to propagate. I mean, it could take up to 24, 48 hours, but um, it's not gonna stop us from getting done what we need to get done because we do have this like backup thing right here. Oh, and it looks like maybe because I did have this set up before, it's already uh, maybe ready to go. Uh, I'm not sure, let's see. Um, so let's see if we go to Denver Coder. It's not secure, but I want to go anyways. Uh, oh, I cannot go there. So let's try. Uh, 
Yeah. Okay. So because I had HTTPS set up on that on my domain, um, let's see if this lets me set up. So it's created less than an hour ago. So that's fine. But we're just gonna let that sit there for now and let everything work its work itself out. You have to wait for an hour to set up HTTPS, anyways. But this link should still work, and that's that's perfectly fine. So we're just gonna use that one for now. Now you'll get an email. Okay, so there was an issue with the email because what was happening was when you click on the email, it was basically trying to get you to log in to denvercoder.com, which you can see there's no SSL certificate currently. So you're getting this error, so you couldn't log in. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna backtrack a little bit. Um, I've waited for um, the DNS to propagate and everything, so now, what I'm doing is I'm back in the Netlify uh, website. You're gonna scroll down to HTTPS and click this verify DNS configuration. And you'll see how now it says uh, ready to provision a certificate. Uh, and then it says it's a fully automated install. And all you have to do is click that button, click provision, and then it'll just go. <clears throat> so you see those little spinny guy um, it's provisioning the certificate. It doesn't take too long, but I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and come back when that's done. Okay, so that only took a couple seconds, and as you can see here, your site has HTTP, HTTPS enabled. Let's encrypt uh, today at 527, um, and it auto renews September 19th at 239. So you don't have to worry about that. It's going to continually auto renew on its own. Now what I want to do is I want to scroll down here and click force HTTPS so that all traffic to my website will be routed to HTTPS. So now, hopefully when we go to Denver Coder, we see this and everything's good. So now we should be able to proceed with the, the other part, <clears throat> which is um, I got an email from no reply at netlify.com and you click this link right here basically to accept the invite and it brings you here and then asks you to fill out your password. So I'll click that and click sign up and boom everything worked this time. So <clears throat> I'm in here in the dashboard. Um, you can see it's kind of like the WordPress um, backend. Uh, you've got blogs and pages. Uh, you've got the about and products page. There's a media tab with all the different media here. Now, we're going to be doing a lot of this, um, the pages set up and everything. Um, we're going to be doing that in code on the backend, so we don't have to really worry about that. Um, as you can see, there's no link or anything to add a page anyways. And I haven't been able to figure out how to add a page yet, um, other than doing it in the back end. So uh, we're going to do all of that. So uh, to conclude this video, let's go ahead and recap real quick. We basically set up a website at Netlify using Netlify CMS. We now have our domain pointed. We have an SSL certificate installed. So our site is up, it's live on the internet, and it's ready to go. Uh, in the next video, I'm gonna show you how to clone your project and get started writing code and working on your website. Thanks for watching.